Welcome to Graphic Converter. This workshop will explain to you how you can insert a watermark into a series of images using Graphic Converter. During that process, we will also scale down the images for use on the internet. Open the directory which contains the images in your browser, either by accessing the command Browse in the File menu, or by dragging the directory in the Finder onto the icon of the Graphic Converter. First, let's define our action. In the toolbar at the top of your browser, click on the pop-up menu Batch and Format, and choose Define Batch. In order to scale down the images during that process for publication on the internet, we add the scaling action. Open Size Crop Scale and drag the action Scale Long Edge into the section on the right. Enter 800 pixels as a value for Long Edge. In the left area of the dialog, open the section Drawings. Drag the action Insert Text Watermark into the area on the right. For alignment, let's choose Bottom Right and enter 15 pixels each for Distance to Margin. For the text, let's choose 24 point for absolute size. For text, let's now enter the copyright symbol by using a combination of option key and G as well as sample text. As an alternative, you can insert the file name or IPTC and EXIF metadata. In order to improve the readability of the text, let's fill the background with a rounded rectangle. Click on the color box and choose a gray level with a value of about 90%. As an alternative, you can choose a shadow or stroke. For many applications, a transparency of 60% or more may prove to be useful, which will reduce the distraction caused by the watermark. Save your action using Save As. Our default file name is Watermark Text 800 Pixels. Now select this action from the pop up menu Batch and Format. During this process, we check the settings regarding the format and the target directory. JPEG is the file format suitable for the internet and placing the converted file in a subdirectory created automatically is typically the fastest solution. If you wish to check or modify the settings for the JPEG format, make a selection from the action menu, options for selected format. For use on the internet, a quality between 70 and 90% is recommended. This now puts us in the poll position and we can select the images we want to edit based on this action. Use Command A to select all images or click to choose individual images. Now click on Convert. After the process is finished, click on the newly created directory Converted Files. Open one of the edited images and you'll find the watermark at the bottom in the right-hand section. Let's open the scaling dialog by clicking on Picture Size and you will find that the image has been scaled to 800 pixels at the longest edge. As a next step, we modify the action of inserting a watermark into an image. Duplicate Selected Batch allows us to create a duplicate of that action. 
for a file name, we enter watermark text and image 800 pixels. Select the newly created action and open the Actions dialog by clicking Edit Selected Batch. From the area Drawings, we drag the action Insert Image Watermark between the two actions we have selected. For alignment, let's choose Center of Image this time around. Select 30% transparency so the inserted image becomes largely translucent. If you wish to insert watermarks in other parts of the image, simply drag the respective action into the right section of the image multiple times. Click on Choose to choose a suitable image such as a logo. Let's use this action again on the selected images. After brief processing, you will receive a message informing you that in the target directory, files carrying the identical name are already present after our first round. We will click on Replace because we no longer need the previous versions. In the target directory, you will now find the files with the two watermarks and the images have been scaled down to 800 pixels at their longest edge. Finally, we will show you how you can create a logo which you can use for a watermark. For that purpose, we create a new image choosing File, New. Choose 512 by 300 pixels and switch on Transparency. Select the Ellipse tool from the toolbar. Click on the Rectangle tool and hold it. If on small displays, the Ellipse tool cannot be accessed. Choose red as color by clicking on the color box for front color. After the color selector opens, choose a shade of red. Now create an ellipse in the image with your mouse. As a next step, select white from the small icons as front color and click on the text tool. From the available range, select approximately 36 point for text size. Click on the ellipse on the left and enter a sample text, for example, sample company. Click in the area next to the text object to terminate your input. Now you can move the text object with your mouse. By double-clicking the text, you can continue editing it just like you do in a text editor. If you'd like to save the image, and if you'd like to be able to reopen and continue editing it later, you will need to save it in the format Graphic Converter Image Document. In all other formats, the text will turn into an element of the image and is not available for further editing. In order for you to be able to use the image as a logo with transparent edges, we save it in PNG format to retain transparency without any technical issues.